Hello gents, I'm coming at you again from the lip of an active volcano. I'm currently perched atop Mount St. Helens, which famously erupted in May of 1980, when I was only negative three months old. This eruption was the deadliest and most economically devastating volcanic event in the history of the United States. Prior to the eruption, this mountain stood at a majestic peak of 16,000 feet. Today I'm here at the summit at just under 8,400 feet. The sheer volume of rock, dirt, ash, and lava that was displaced by this eruption was enough to fill the Grand Canyon. After the eruption, the entire state of Washington was blanketed in ash a foot deep. And ash was found covering surfaces as far away as Japan. Now, Mount St. Helens was named after Helen Keller, who was the first female to summit this volcano. On a clear day atop Mount St. Helens, you can see all of St. Helens' siblings. Mount Rainier is behind that cloud. Mount Adams is behind that cloud. Mount Hood is behind that cloud. And Mount Vesuvius is right over there behind that cloud. You know, this was a strenuous hike to get up here. It was almost as difficult as obtaining a permit to do so. The state of Washington restricts access to the crater to only 10 hikers a day. So when the permits went on sale back in February, we had to act fast. And we were lucky enough to secure some because within a few hours, every permit for the whole summer was gone. I have enjoyed the Shatner out of my visit to Mount St. Helens and the surrounding areas. I hope you're inspired to get out into man nature and enjoy this beautiful earth. And now I will leave you with some highlights from our adventure. Enjoy. <music>
this adventure wouldn't be complete without a Bigfoot sighting. Oh yeah.